In this video, we're going to show you how to change Shimano hoods, these rubber bits here on the STI levers. There could be a number of reasons why you want to do this. They might have got scuffed, you might have got a nick in it, or it might have become loose and started to squirm around the bars. Now, you're not going to need many tools for this job. Basically, just some spare hoods. We've got white ones, which I'm not personally all that keen on, and some of this hand cleaning gel with alcohol in it. Not actually to clean our hands. We'll get onto that a little bit later on. So first things first, we're obviously going to want to take the old hoods off. And it's simply a case of rolling them forward, up over the brake lever and pulling down. It does take quite a bit of force. Right, repeat exactly the same thing for the other lever and then we're ready to put the new ones on. Now, it's important to remember when you do put the new ones on that you don't need to be afraid of applying quite a lot of brute force. As you saw from when I took them off, they take quite a lot of pulling and stretching. And you can see exactly the same thing here now. They don't really rip even old ones, even with my strength. Right, when it comes to putting the replacement hoods on, they are specific to the left and the right STI lever. And to tell which one's which, Normally, you've got a logo on the side, and that should be facing away from the bike. These are actually Hood's ones rather than Shimano's own. But there's the logo there. That's for the left STI lever. Now, this is where this rubbing alcohol, which is normally used to kill germs in your hands, comes into play. What this is going to do for us today is help lubricate the hoods to help us to get them onto the brake lever. But the great thing about this is that it evaporates. So unlike any other lubricant, which would remain there for a long time, and it would mean that the hoods squirm over the STI levers here. So just apply some liberally on the inside. Get it all the way around. And once you've done that, just feed it on the brake lever and then it's back to brute force. Now once you've got to this point, it's where you want to engage these little plastic or rubbery nobbles that are inside the hoods into the holes that are in the STI lever, and primarily this part at the front here. You can see there's a big lip at the front of the hood, and we want to engage that just above the brake lever. And then it's just a case of repeating exactly the same steps for the other one. And that's it, job done. It really does only take around about five minutes. Now, a couple of extra tips before we finish. If you are having trouble putting the new lever hoods on or even taking the old ones off, try to heat them up using a hairdryer or something similar, or even leaving them out in the sun. That should expand them very slightly and make the job easier when it comes to putting them on. Now, if you'd like to see a video about how to replace your bar tape, which I thoroughly recommend the owner of this bike does, you can find that by clicking up there, and that's me putting it on. On the other hand, if you want to see a professional mechanic from the Garmin team doing exactly the same job of bar tape, you can click down there. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to GCN. It's absolutely free, and all you need to do is click on me.